Hello everyone and welcome to our brand new Skyrim modded Let's Play. Ooh, this time we're going to be playing um, as a Dwemer Hacker. Um, what's a Dwemer Hacker? Well, it's a... Um, sneaky Dwemer Tinkerer type build. So, instead of just running in and overthrowing everybody with our massive amount of Dwemer machines, we're going to be super stealthy. Especially when it comes to Dwemer machines, because we have a mod installed called Dwemer Hacker, which, if we sneak up on a machine, will give us the opportunity to hack it and destroy it that way. So, let's get our character put together here. Obviously, I don't want any of the crazy vampire retype eyes that I installed. single braid. Done. And let's name our character. Aperture. Alright. So, as this is a modded let's play, you'll see in the corner we'll have a couple different things popping up. Um, obviously, we've got the alternate start mod installed because of where we're starting. Um, Approach, also, my child, and choose where your new life shall begin. I want to start Which off Which property in do you own? Markarth. So, we're just going to get a fine life Hall awaits you among the mysteries of Markarth. Um, we've got amazing follower tweaks, imperious races of Skyrim. bunch of other ones they're gonna all be linked down in the description so that way you guys can check them out for yourselves um one of the ones that i installed a couple different ones of was the diversification type mods where it diversifies the imperial army the stormcloak army the guards of the city the dragons the werewolves and so on as well as um a mod that adds a whole bunch more monsters to the game as well as one that does a good job of updating the um, Daedra in the game. It adds like a lot more Daedra types um, which if things go according to plan you will actually see one of the updates that that did um, here pretty soon because my first order of business is going to be trying to get um, the dwarven armor set from inside of Nichun Cell. And to help me with that, I'm going to grab our first follower so
I might, though, only go as far as Nimi, and then use the stuff I was able to get before then to um, make things. Well, actually, yeah, I'm definitely going to be doing that. Because I don't think I will be able to get to the point of making the light armor that I want to make. Need something? Need something? So, we're going to grab a follower to help us out. And then head into Nichen Zell. And then I will show you guys the different weapons mods that I have installed. Um, so that way you guys can help me choose which weapon to use. So, we've got a Dwemer horse dog thing, and a Dwemer horse, but I'm not using either of those guys right this minute. Instead, I am coming over here to the Salvius farm, oh, and grabbing Hello, friend. the Dwemer dog. this early because there isn't really much I can do as far as fighting things this early in the game at least not inside the in not inside Nuchen so so we're gonna have to run back up to my house and grab the bow that's why we grabbed the follower, is so that so. No, that's not it. I had to cross that bridge, right? And what might you do? Mm -hmm. No, that's the Shrine of Talos. You can see how often I've what used this house. Mm -hmm. Can't even figure out where the hell my house is. Osborne's <laughs> house. Maybe it's up here. Yeah, you see how often I've used this house that it took me forever to figure out where the hell it was. <laughs>
Um, I'm over here. Let's grab this push on my hand. We might need that. It's wonderful to be able to. Well, we got a red bandana in there. That's cool. Sleep stop. I'll take that. Or not the fork, the gold. It's the only thing we've got for armor right now. Let's throw on the sleep helmet. Right. Yeah. Need something? Hmm? Understone keep. Now, as long as my groomer dog don't glitch out, he should be able to head in and get most of the damage done on the baddies. I say should. Um, there's no guarantee that he won't glitch out and then stop attacking things for me. What are you doing here? The excavation site. That's you, you idiot. I. Yeah, yeah. We've I'm all sorry, heard from I, you before, Kelsen. Now. Persistent, aren't you? Oh, very well. Who am I? I. If you deal with Nimi, I'll let you into both. That spider is as good as dead. There's the key to the dig site. Problem is, he's no longer a spider. You get to see he's the yard. Something much worse. No Alright, so let's open up the excavation site. Okay, now first order of business is we need to grab this, this, and let's grab the shovel just because it's in the way. This, that, grab the pickaxe because there's some stuff we can mine down here. Grab that. We need as much of this warmer metal stuff as we can get so that I can melt it down and get warmer ingots and use those to make. the stuff that we're gonna need coming up. Okay, so let's grab this other potion. Eh, why not? Let's search the barrel. Ooh, salt. Salt's useful for pretty much cooking everything. Okay. Grab that, grab that, grab that. Can I see the first spider from here? Doesn't look like I can. All right. Can I see it from here? No. Which means it shouldn't be able to see me either. So let's go ahead and search these. Ooh, more salt. Some cabbages. down the bowls and plates and urns and stuff so I'm not like super focused on grabbing them Let's this 
on our way back out, we'll mine the veins. to kill the smaller one, the bigger one, not so much. Get in there, Dormer Dog! Okay. Now, I'm not super planning to use archery, like, all the time, but... I kind of need to for this part just because there is so much stuff that will pretty much just wreck me especially because I have no armor yet at all so let's go get Nimi real quick favorite these so that way I don't have to keep coming into the menu to get them. There she is. Oh god. Dwimmer dog, you're in the way! You're gonna get me killed! Dwimmer dog! Move! Move, Dwimmer dog! Move! Fuck. <sighs> Potion. Freaking Dwimmer dog. Almost getting me killed. And as you can see, Nimi is not a spider. She's a spider Daedra. So, she's still got, I believe, the same amount of health as the original Nimi. I'm not sure. She might have more because she's a spider Aedra. But, yeah. Remember, dog, get out of the way. All those arrows I fired into it, and I only got four back. That sucks. Alright, so that takes care of Nimi. Now, I can't remember if once we get Nimi taken care of, if I can pick up those dwarven things that are right there next to him or not. Okay. Salonia, we've been saddled with some researchers who can't go four steps without examining something, and they fight about as well as you'd think, probably worse. Strom at least has some magical competence, but none of them can swing a sword. Urge and Crag seem up to something, so I'll have to keep an eye on them. But Staubin assures me they're trustworthy. Altheus. So let's grab Altheus's armor, so I can at least have some armor. Alright. Imperial light boots, Imperial bracers. Imperial pouches. Those are always nice to have. And since this is supposed to be a light armor build, I will wear the full set of light armor. Reverend Dagger. Damn it. I hit me that happens. The body's too close. Get out of the way, body. There we go. Okay. 
So, we're gonna quick save like almost every single time that something happens when we're going through this. Because we could die pretty freaking easily. So, every time we kill something, we're quick saving. So this is what Falmer looked like in this. Pretty scary, huh? Okay. So, we're gonna quick save. And then we're gonna go head down to the next area. swim our way over here and this is our next spot Warmer dogs doing a good job of pissing off things I have to wait for the aggro to break, because if I don't, when I go through this door, they're going to magically teleport in behind me, and that's going to be a problem. Okay. Now I have to sit back here and wait for them to show up. Warmer dog behind you. Oh, I'm dead. I don't think I have anything left as far as healing goes because freaking Warmer dog stood in front of the door and wouldn't let me get back into hiding. I don't have nearly enough. Yeah, go take care of the other one. I just realized I don't think I have a lockpick yet. 
so I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the door open for the supplies that I want to grab. <sighs> Guess I'll reach that hurdle when I come to it. I forget what level the lock is that's down here, through this way, so. <laughs> oh my gosh, let me talk to the damn dog. do is dump some of this stuff on you. time I came in here is any indication there should be a steel dwarven centurion up here. Yeah, I knew I was having a lot of picks. Let's see if I can get you to open it for me. Yeah, I was pretty sure that, that didn't work that way. Kinda wish it did. Kind of wish that you could unlock doors for me. So we're going to have to go this way instead. So what I'm thinking I'll do is I'll just activate the defenses and get the hell out of here. Skeever is. But, yeah, let's just, uh. Oh, his skeever's dead. Er, a wildcat. Hmm. Apparently, he was not with a skeever this time, he was with a wildcat. Okay, so we're gonna skirt around these pressure plates and take a peek in here. Just because I want to see. There's a sphere this time. I think I can take it. I think I can take a sphere. Is it a sphere? It looks like something else. Screw it. Oh, it's a worker. Did you hear something? Dude gets hit with an axe and he's like, Did you hear something? last time I was here. Um, I did a little bit of playing, testing somewhat when um, when I uh, set the mods up because I wanted to make sure that like it would actually play well. And I came in here for my play testing and when I did that there was always a steel dwarven centurion standing in here. 